Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question Greatest Common Divisor of String. In this question, we are given a string S and T and we say T divides S if and only if S is equals to T plus T plus T and so on. Given are the two strings, string 1 and string 2, we need to return largest string X such that X is the greatest common divisor for both these strings. Now there are certain examples given with the problem. So we'll first see what the question is all about and how we can solve it. We'll first start off with understanding what is GCD. In mathematical terms, GCD is the greatest common divisor of two or more integers which are not all zero, is the largest positive integer that divides each of the integers. Now what does that mean? It means that for number 4 and 2, the greatest common divisor is 2 because 2 is the largest integer which divides both the number 4 and 2. Similarly, for the number 9 and 6, the greatest common divisor is 3 because it is the largest integer which divides both number 9 and 6. In this problem, we are not given integer value, we are given a string. So what does GCD means in terms of an string? Suppose we have two strings given to us and we take string 2 and try to divide string 1 by string 2. So as we can see the starting 6 character matches the exact 6 characters of the string 2. So we can remove these 6 characters and now when we try to divide again with the same string it is not possible and hence we are sure that ABC ABC is not the GCD of the two numbers because we are not able to divide the string 1 using that particular string. Now let's take that we have a string ABC and we try to divide the string 1 using this particular string or the prefix that we have. When we do that, we can continuously do this and we get that string 1 is divisible with the string ABC of length 3. Now let's try to divide the string 2 with the same string and we get that we are able to do the same as well. So the string ABC now becomes a GCD for the two strings as it is the largest string which can divide both the string 1 and string 2. Now moving ahead with the actual problem that we have in our hand. Here are the sample examples that we will be discussing. These sample example deals with all the possible scenarios that can occur in this particular problem. So let's discuss them one by one. So in the first example we have two strings string AB and string 2 is also AB. Now we know that in the case of an integer as well or in this case the case of a string if both the values or the strings are equal then the GCD of the two numbers is the number itself. So in this case we can return the string AB which is equal to both the strings. Now let's move to the second example. In this example the first string is of length 6 and the second string is of length 4. So what we need to do? We need to check if the string 1 starts with string 2. Once we do that we can remove the common part from the string 1 because we have found that the string 2 completely divides this particular part and hence it can be removed from the string 1. It is similar to what method we employ when we try to find a GCD between the two integers. The code will also share the same similarities. So let's move ahead. Now you see that the string 1 and string 2 differ in length and up till now we were doing the operation on string 1 by dividing it with string 2 because we are assuming that the length of the string 2 will always be shorter than the length of the string 1. So this is the one assumption that we are making and this assumption is also in line with finding the GCD between two integer values where we also assume that one number is less than the other number because we have seen a previous case wherein if the both the numbers are equal then the GCD is the number itself. So now when the case arises where the string 2 length is greater than string 1 we need to reverse this. We need to take string 1 to be of greater length. Now we again employ the same method dividing or finding out if the string 2 is the prefix for the string 1. If it is so then we just remove it. Now we are left with both the string with the same value which is what we saw in the previous example as well. If both the strings are equal, then we simply return the GCD, which is the string itself. 
so in this case this gcd becomes ab so let's go through all the learning that we have till now so the first learning is if both the strings are equal the gcd is the string itself second learning is we are assuming that the string 2 will be of the shorter length and the third learning is if string 1 starts with string 2 we shorten the string 1 and then employ the same method so it's kind of a recursive call now let's apply this learning in the next example so in this example as well we'll first check if string 1 starts with string 2 if it is we shorten it now both the strings are equal so we need to directly return gcd which is the string itself now this last example is nothing but the same example as previous only the value of the string 1 and string 2 are reverse it is just here for us to remember that we are considering string 2 be of the short length so we need to swap the two values of string 1 and string 2 and then perform the operations and the gcd will again come out to be the same you can try run it by yourself and find out if that's true or not so this completes the explanation part and i'll highly recommend you to use the learnings that we have and try to come up with an approach we'll now start coding this particular approach so in the code also we will apply the three learnings that we got from the explanation itself the first learning was that if string 2 is greater than string 1 then we need to swap the two strings so we'll first write that so we are again calling the same method just by swapping the two values we have the second learning wherein we say that if the two strings are equal then we need to return the string itself because it is the gcd and now we need to check if the string 1 starts with string 2 if that is the case we need to shorten the string 1 and continue to do the same operations again and again so that is the recursive call that we are talking about so we'll write that and lastly the case wherein there is no gcd possible between the two strings in that case we need to simply return an empty string so this completes the coding part now let's try to run this code for all the sample test cases so it ran successfully let's submit this the time complexity of this solution is o of max of l1 and l2 where l1 and l2 are the length of the two strings and same is the space complexity in order to maintain the recursion stack do let us know your thoughts comments and queries and if you have any specific problem you want us to make a video on do comment that as well thanks for watching see you in the next one